Hi guys, this is John from Walton's TV, and this is Meatgistics. This is the first part in a new series we're doing at Meatgistics where we take some of our favorite seasonings and spices and show you how we use them to make our favorite dinners, lunches, and snacks. Let's face it, having snacks, sticks, and brats on hand is great and all, but you might not want to feed it to your family night after night. Actually, that sounds amazing to me, but everyone in your family is probably not as crazy as I am. So today, we're going to show you how to use the Garlic Romano Wing Shake and the Farmer's Market Panko Style Breadcrumbs to make broccoli and cheese stuffed chicken breast. First, chop your broccoli into very small pieces and saute it with one teaspoon of olive oil and some garlic for a few minutes. Once it's done sauteing, add two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese to the pan and allow it to slightly melt with the broccoli. Remove it from the heat source, let it cool, and then place it in a bowl with some mozzarella cheese and set it aside. If you want, at this point, you can add some of our Garlic Romano Wing Shake. This is gonna be your stuffing. In a separate bowl, Mix the juice of one lemon with one cup of white wine. Then in a bowl right next to that, pour some of your panko breadcrumbs and set both bowls aside. Slice your chicken breast in half lengthwise and then pound it with a mallet until it's thin enough to be easily rolled. Take your broccoli and cheese mix and place it in the middle of the flattened out chicken breast. Grab the chicken breast from one end and begin to roll it up. Try and keep as much of the broccoli and cheese inside as possible. Dip your rolled up chicken breast into the lemon and wine mix and then into the breadcrumbs, making sure you're going to coat all sides as evenly as possible. Place on a baking sheet that's been sprayed with a nonstick spray. Cook at 450 degrees until the internal temperature reaches 165. If you want, you can remove the chicken at around 160 degrees, sprinkle on some more mozzarella on top and let it melt while the chicken finishes up to 165. So we're all done. It took about 40 minutes from start to finish and it smells and looks amazing. This meal is a great way to give your family a healthy and tasty meal in under an hour. Wish you guys could smell this. It looks, and I'm sure it's gonna taste. Mm. It's amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. To learn how to make other amazing meat snacks, visit our website, meatgistics.com, for other videos and tutorials for everything from snack sticks to ham, bacon, jerky, and much, much more. Please visit waltonsinc.com to find all the supplies, seasoning, and equipment you need to make any of those meals. And make sure you subscribe to Walton's TV on YouTube to be the first to know when we release new videos. And if you like this video, do us a favor and click the like button plus share it. As always, visit waltonsinc.com and meatgistics.com to find everything but the meat. Thanks for watching. I'm John with Walton's TV and I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to Walton's TV to watch more YouTube videos or shop at waltonsinc.com to find everything but the meat. You can also watch more videos from Walton's TV by clicking here or clicking here.